I'm going to talk about these Chinese low voltage ZVS heaters. This one is on eBay. It's only $17. And I bought one and tested it and it just didn't work out. It claimed it would do 1000 watts but it only really does about 250 and then the circuit board pops. So I decided to build my own. Now this is the schematic for the one that I actually built that actually works and it works quite well. The schematic I'll leave it up here for a minute so you guys can see it and then we'll move over here to the actual circuit itself. Now this is parts from the Chinese induction heater and it's built on these copper rails. These pieces right here are pieces of circuit board this is just the uh, copper circuit board and you just remove the copper from it with some etching solution you make these little pieces you can see these pieces here are half inch wide by about three inches long and they've got holes drilled every three sixteenths of an inch basically the same spacing that's on the center of these and they can be soldered on, or they don't have to be. They are soldered on this one. And basically, you have to actually take a hacksaw or something and you can cut little notches between these. Because they can't obviously be shorted together. And there's really not that many parts on the circuit. It's just these two MOSFETs. And there's a couple of power resistors over here two power resistors all these parts are off the Chinese board that burned up except for these diodes these diodes are 1N 4007s and we'll talk more about those in another video so you've basically got two power MOSFETs two resistors two diodes and two resistors to ground and these are the two capacitors that were on the also on the Chinese board. And if you flip this over, you can see these um, power transformers. They're like cores. These are rewound, but you wouldn't have to. You could use the wire that was actually came on them on the other board. And this is the top view of the capacitors. And this is the output for the circuit. And the uh, mount that actually keeps everything tight for the cables that go on this thing are massive. Anyways, I just wanted to make a video of this part of it. And this whole unit fits on this heat sink over here. It drops into place on this uh, heat sink and keeps everything cool. There's um, two isolators. These are the isolators. They're just little... Um, silicon pieces to go underneath the transistors and that's all you need because these power MOSFETs are plastic inside and you could put a bolt down through them and they won't short out. Now this thing could be built on any flat heat sink. It doesn't have to be like this. Even a flat piece of aluminum. But you do have to have something built to support these cables and we will talk about that in another video.